Hey Twisters, welcome to another Jersey unboxing and I'm pretty damn stoked because today I have a Jersey Grail right here. And this is coming from my guy Dan on Twitter. So he runs an account where he actually sells jerseys. I don't know how he's been acquiring them for such good deals, but he posts very fair prices. He ships right away. This came to me, I kid you not, I ordered this from him this past Saturday. It is Monday. I'm not talking about over a week. I'm talking about like one business day delivery, if you even call it that. So lightning fast delivery, Dan, hey, I appreciate that, man. This is fantastic of you, good price amazing jersey and one of my holy grails and one of the jerseys that I was looking to collect here in 2020. Now do you guys have a guess as to which team this is? Yeah I figured you probably guessed it but which jersey do you think it is? That's that's the real question. So here we go let's unwrap this. I, I can already tell that Dan put a lot of TLC into this so here we go. I'm, I'm actually pretty thrilled about this one. When am I not a, when it comes to jerseys? Anyway. Ah. <laughs> kind of a kind of a puzzle figuring this out, Dan. Oh, even there's even packaging on the inside too. So Dan, nice work, man. I'm gonna hold this away from the camera and then I'll reveal it. It is here. It is here. Yes! Oh yes, my friend. Oh freaking yes. The good old peyote jersey, baby. Or as some people like to call it, the taco time for the vision quest. Yes! Look at this. Look, just look at this. This is so ridiculous. First of all, a team out in the desert. Green? This isn't exactly cactus green. And with a purple V and a desert scape with a random moon? What exactly was this designer on at the time? This is the Vision Quest jersey right here, guys. And this is a blank, but nonetheless, it is a welcome addition to my collection. I'm gonna put this on quickly and then let's talk a little bit about this jersey some more, okay? Absolute beauty. This is a starter. Size medium, so the fit on it is just about right, kind of like the CCMs of the late 90s. Width, you get some bagginess from the sleeves there, but that doesn't bother me one bit. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely terrific. Yeah, the logo's a little bit bubbling here, but I noticed that on my Buffalo Sabres uh, starter as well. But these are both, of course, licensed apparel, um, totally legitimate. So you even got this desert scape here on the sleeve, which is pretty wild. You even got a cactus right here. And then on the shoulders, you've got the uh, salamander, very uh, prominent creature in the desert, unless it's supposed to be a Gila monster, but I don't think so. Um, look at this, guys. This thing is an absolute beaut. It's a little starter logo at the bottom here. Yep, so, fantastic. So this jersey was worn uh, from 1998 to 2003. So it came into the league uh, during the Phoenix Coyotes' third season as a franchise in the desert. Of course, they were the, originally the Winnipeg Jets. And this was just after the Islanders had retired the Fishermen. So this was retired in 1997. I think this came in at the same time, more or less at least, as the uh, <laughs> the National Predators Mustard Cat. And I think the, the goat head was actually, maybe that was just before this one. So anyway, the 90s, late 90s for jerseys was Pretty ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And this is one of those that's so ugly that I love it. As for the Wild Wing and the Burger King, I don't really care for those as much, not just as a Sharks fan, but in general, I just really wanted to collect this one and I wanted to co collect the Fisherman. And I, what, unboxed that, what, just a month ago or so? So, I mean, I've got, I've got my two ugly classics here. I love these and who knows, maybe one day, if there's ever a, a game between these two teams, I need to do like a, a preview, a special preview with these jerseys. So, worn from 1998 to 2003. What you see here, there's a small outline in that sort of sand off white. So this outline was introduced, I think, after the first time they had worn this jersey, so in 1999. The, the uh, Coyotes were actually a pretty good team during this era. They had won 39, 39, and 40 games in three of those seasons. 
uh, three out of those five seasons in which they were wearing this jersey. So they had made the playoffs, but they didn't win any rounds. And captaining those teams were Keith Kachuk initially, and then eventually that got passed to Tebo Newmanen. And there were a handful of other great players who wore this jersey. So let's name a few of them, okay? Now try to imagine these players wearing this jersey, okay? First of all, Shane Doan, right? This is when Doan was just a kid. He was still 22 years old when this jersey was introduced. Jeremy Roenick was still having some great seasons there, basically putting up a point a game. Daniel Briere was a very young player that I don't think he had quite broken through yet on the Coyotes. Uh, coaches, Rick Tockett, current co coach of the Coyotes, Travis Green, and Mike Sullivan. They all wore this jersey. Nikolai Hobby Bulin, Stanley Cup winning goals hender with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Claude Lemieux, I had no idea he had worn this. I don't know what's uglier, the jersey or him. Then we had Michael Hanzus, had a very nice deep career there. Damon Lake Lankow, excuse me. Uh, Ladislav Nagy, and NBC Sports analyst Brian Boucher. So, some pretty notable players who had worn this jersey. I remember when I had seen this, I was just like, huh? They already got this Kachina jersey. They already got, I didn't even know it was called Kachina in the first place, but I said they already have this kind of wild thing going on with the, you know, the crazy pattern at the bottom. I'm like, did they really have to do more to that or, or riff on that even more? Nonetheless, I mean, this, come on. Come on, guys, this is an absolute classic. I, I wanna know the Coyotes fans down below, what do you guys think of this jersey? Does it need to come back or has it already seen its time on the ice? So, lovely jersey. Thanks again, Dan. Give him a follow on Twitter, guys, and stay tuned because guess what? I know I have at least one more jersey to unbox here in the next, uh, next 10 days or so. And there's gonna be additional jersey talk. I've even thought about reacting to people's jersey collections. I'll let you know more about that if I decide to proceed with that as a series and more jersey talk. I know that there's been uh, requests for a difference between Adidas Authentic and Made in Canada game worn, game issued jerseys. So I do plan to cover that real soon. All right, guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you around for more Jersey talk and whatnot. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I always goof that up, don't I? Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll catch you later. Ciao.